Anthony Hartwig here with another Boardman Football Player Profile. We're joined by another senior, Mason Naraki. Mason, thank you so much, man, for, for coming on and joining us. Of course, anytime. So senior season, man, you're coming into it. You know it's your last ride. You know it's the last chance you get. What's it been like dealing with all the emotions that come with senior year? Well, I mean, obviously uh, it's hard knowing that this is it. But, when, you know, when you're with your friends every every day, it makes it easier, especially when um, – you played football with them for like six years leading up to this already. So it's hard to control them sometimes, but I think we've done pretty good. I want to talk about this first game you guys had. You come in against a team that, you know, let's call it a, call it what it is. They had your number last year, right? So you come in against a team that definitely came in with momentum and you beat them. You were able to come back, get that win. Um, what went into that? And as a senior, how much did that make you uh, really enthused about this season and what it could be? Well, yeah, like you said, so last year they – they beat us pretty bad. So uh, coming into this game this year, it was like we needed it, really. It was it, It's a good stepping stone for the program overall. But like to be able to win the first game of the season, especially senior season, it, uh, it says a lot about the team and how much we've grown so far. When they take that early lead, what do you think about this team was able to keep them from going, you know, like, here we go again. You know, it's Kenston. They're, they're going to beat us again. Like this, the perseverance, what changed – in the locker room to get you guys to come together and, and come back from a deficit this time against this team? Well, I think um, the off season, the practices, they were a little bit tougher than uh, last year. So being able to push through that and I feel like the weather, I don't know, the weather seemed a little bit hotter too. So being able to push through all that throughout the off season really like lifts the dust to be like, I mean, it's the season now. We might as well push through now as well and not stop. You know, you're a leader in that locker room. You're a guy that people look to. What do you think are the biggest attributes you bring as a leader on the team? Well, I think, like, I'm pretty approachable. So if anyone has a question or concern, they can always come to me, and I'm not going to, like, shoo them away or anything. I'll always help them with anything they need. And uh, I think I'm a vocal leader, too. So, like, in practices, I'll make sure everyone's, like, up and no one's down so we don't have a bad practice and the energy's always there leaders are as good as the leaders that taught them. So who were some guys in the past that maybe when you were young taught you how to be a leader that you watched lead this team and you learned from them? Um, obviously my parents, obviously um, both my parents have always been there for me no matter what. And they taught me how to be a good person and how to live my life. And no, they never miss anything. So I think it'd probably just be them. You make them busy because you're a three-sport athlete, so you make sure that they're never missing a thing, uh, fall, winter, and spring. What's it like just transitioning from football to basketball to baseball and just going from one season to the next? You know, sometimes it's rough, but, you know, at some point, I mean, you get used to it because it's been like seven years of doing it school-wise. Um, but sometimes, I mean, like I think I'm in shape for basketball, but then I get to practice and it's just <laughs> You know, football conditioning is not the same as basketball. So sometimes it's a little rough, but it's I've gotten used to it. Now, I know we're in that we're in football season, but do you have a favorite or is it just like whatever season you're in? That's the sport that that is my favorite. Um, it used to be whatever season I'm in. I, I always said, like, yeah, my favorite football and then I get the basketball and it's basketball and baseball. But I don't know. Right now, I think it's probably football, but I really that's not a for sure answer. <laughs> We'll ask you again during the basketball season, see if that changes. Um, I want to talk about the coaching staff here in the football team. That's, I think, one of the big reasons why we've seen the the big week one win. And a little bit of a change in attitude to this football team is the things that the coaching staff's been able to do. What's it like being coached by Coach Dota, and what are some things that you think he brings to this this team, this locker room, this culture? Uh, he definitely brings toughness. Um, he's one of the toughest coaches I've ever played for. Uh, but he knows what he's talking about, and uh, he's all he's also like, really into it so if you have a question you always answer it he's always there if you ever need anything so i think he's just like i think he's a great coach um i think he just knows how to talk to players and how to communicate to them so i think that's it what part of your game do you think him and his staff are the most responsible for you and helping you know grow in the in that part of the game well like i said i think toughness like just the ability to be able to play uh, all four quarters on um, either side of the ball um, I think just them pushing us every day at practice and making sure that we never stop or we always give everything we have uh, really set the tone for the year. Football players always say there's nothing like Friday night lights, you know, warming up, the lights coming on, you hear the crowd getting ready for the game. 
What's that feeling like for you? Uh, I want to say nervous, but whenever I like we're warming up and uh, I look in the stands and I see the people, I just get like uh, ready, I guess. Uh, but still butterflies every game. But um, yeah, I love it. I love it every every night. Mason still gets the butterflies. Get everyone. It's still it's senior year. It's not going to go away. Uh, what are some things to take those away? Is it the first hit? Is it the first whistle? Is it the first you know time you get to catch a ball? What What are some of the things that take that that butterfly away from you in the game? I think it's different. Like every game, honestly. Like the first game, it doesn't really go away until halftime. If I'm being honest with you, but like third, fourth game, sometimes it's just like the first play. But like by the end of the season. Um, like once we sing the national anthem and like every we're ready to play the game, I'm normally pretty calm, but always a little nervous. Let's talk about your work in the classroom, bud. You're a student athlete. You're a great student athlete. You're holding a great GPA. What have been some of your favorite things to study so far in the Boardman school system? Uh, well, not necessarily that I've studied all of them, but uh, I think it's just great with all the opportunities they give you. Like you can study anything you really want, but um, I'd probably say math. I'm a big math person, so I really like studying the math classes I've been in. We'll flip the we'll flip the table on that question. I'm not going to call it your least favorite subject because I don't want to dig any of the teachers at Boardman. But what are some of the subjects that have um, given you the most trouble and made you work the hardest to get those grades in? Um, probably like English, like uh, the AP English class or government. The government last year was pretty rough. Uh, I had to work to get a to get day in that one. That was rough. Who are some teachers that you think really impacted your journey and helped you along the way? Uh, like high school or any? Any. If you have middle school teachers or, or elementary teachers that helped you along the way, give them a shout out. Why not? Um, well, in uh, like eighth grade, Mr. Lenhart and Mr. Carnivale were really, they really saw something in me, I think. And they really pushed me a lot to be a, a better student. So uh, I like uh, want to thank them a lot. Um, but yeah, I think that's really it. Uh, I guess Dota too, cause he's my first period teacher. So he I mean, what's it like having uh, your football coach as the first teacher you see during the day? It's different. Uh, it was the same as last year, but it's always, I mean, he's, he's, he's more coach than a teacher to me. So, I mean, it's not really like, it kind of just feels like I'm at football at seven forty-five in the morning. <laughs> Uh, just like summer, right? Um, when you think about some of your favorite aspects of being a football player, you know, what are some things that you love about being able to represent Boardman, being able to put on those pads and, and do it every week? Well, I feel like Boardman's always been like a tradition kind of school. So being able to represent the tradition and the program um, has always been something that I love to do, uh, playing for the name on the front of the jersey. Uh, yeah, that's really it. And you get to do that all school year. So um, what do you love so much about staying busy? Because you are a very busy person. You have plenty of um, extracurricular, extracurricular activities that aren't sports too. So what do you do? What's free time? Do you have free time? Uh, I, I think so. I mean, but most of the free time is just homework. So, you know, it's not very free if you ask me. But outside of sports and stuff, uh, my free time is homework. I also like to play a couple of video games, but that's really all I have. Yeah, I was going to say, when you, when you do get that time, uh, very rarely, where it's not a sport, it's not homework, it's just you can do whatever you want. What are some things that occupy your time? Um, Well, I got the new college football game, so it's really been that a lot. That game's awesome. Uh, that's really it. I like to hang out with my friends, obviously, but that doesn't happen all the time, especially school nights and stuff. We don't have much time after football, so. Did you but, start a dynasty yet on the new f college football game? Duh. I have like who, who, uh, who, uh, who's your dynasty? Who's the, I have, who's the school? I have uh, Coastal Carolina, Tulane, and UTEP. There you go. You always got to go with those mid-majors, right? The, the Chanticleers. A lot of people don't even know what a Chanticleer is. Um, it, it's a rooster, by the way. It's a, just a fancy name for a rooster, for those of you that are wondering. Um, what are some things that you think – you're going to miss the most about this experience. You know, you only, you're only in high school once. That's the old cliche. What are you going to miss the most about just the whole high school experience? Well, um, you know, once we go away to college or wherever we go, um, I'm just going to miss being able to see my friends every day, like being able to connect with them and hang out with them every day, even if it's at football 
or just in school in general, like having classes with them. So I think that's what I'll miss the most. Let's talk about plans after high school. We don't want to see you go. We've loved covering you at Boardman, but you know, you got bigger things to do, right? So what are some plans that you have after high school and some things you want to do? Um, well, I just want to, I want to go to college and I want to uh, get a bachelor's degree in some form of engineering, probably mechanical. I'm not sure, but. And we got some engineers on this football team. You and and Zach both wanting to be an engineer. Do you have a do you have a place locked down yet, or do you have it narrowed down to a couple? Um, well, I don't have one locked down for sure, but um, I'm from Maryland, so I I I think going to that college would be awesome. Obviously, YSU they have a great engineering program. Um, Ohio State, but I don't really have one that's like, oh, I have to go there. If you go somewhere where you're going to leave the nest, right? You're going to you're going to walk away from home, you're going to live by yourself, which it sounds like no matter where you go, you're going to be able to do that. What are some things that make you nervous about being away from home and then what are some things that excite you about it too? Um nervous uh cooking dinner because my mom, great cook. Um she cooks dinner for us a lot. And waking up in the morning because sometimes that alarm I just snooze right through it. Um but things I'm excited for, I think just the independency you know, being able to live by myself will be a challenge, but I think it'll be fun. Um, like getting to come home and like, I don't know, not a lot of yelling or stuff like arguing. I don't know, stuff like that. This this might be hard because you said your your mom's a great cook, but what is the best home cooked meal that she that she has? Oh, that is hard. Uh that's a good one. I really like um her beef stroganoff. That's really good. That's the one that you're going to have to learn how to cook before you leave, right? So now with the end of this interview, Mason, we want to give you the time, like all we do with every player profile, to thank your support system, the people that have been there for you through the years. I want to give you the time to take the limelight off yourself, shine on them. Okay, well, I want to start by thanking God, obviously. I wouldn't be here without him. Um, I want to thank my parents, um, all my teachers, all the coaches that led me up to this point, uh, all my friends that push me even when I don't want to get pushed, and uh, my family as a whole because even if they're not at every every event, they always support me no matter what I want to do. So, All right, Mason, man. We appreciate the time. We appreciate uh, you coming on, talking to us about your senior season. We wish you the best of luck going forward, buddy, and we can't wait to talk to you in real soon. Thank you.